Ladies and gentlemen, priests have invented a crime called blasphemy. That crime is the breastwork behind which ignorance, superstition, and hypocrisy have crouched for thousands of years and shot their poisoned arrows at the pioneers of human thought. Priests tell us that there is a God somewhere in heaven who objects to a human being thinking and expressing his thought. Priests tell us that there is a God somewhere who takes care of the people of this world, a God somewhere who watches over the widow and the orphan, a God somewhere who releases the slave, a God somewhere who visits the innocent man in prison, the same God that has allowed men for thousands of years to burn to ashes human beings simply for loving that God. We have been taught that it is dangerous to reason upon these subjects, extremely dangerous, and that of all crimes in the world, the greatest is to deny the existence of that God. Redden your hands in innocent blood, steal the bread of the orphan, deceive, ruin, and desert the beautiful girl who has loved and trusted you, and for all this you may be forgiven. For all this you can have the clear writ of that bankrupt court of the gospel. But deny the existence of one of these gods, and the tearful face of mercy becomes lurid with eternal hate. The gates of heaven are shut against you, and you, with an infinite curse ringing in your ears, commence your wanderings as an immortal vagrant, as a deathless convict, as an eternal outcast. And we have been taught that the infinite has become enraged at the finite simply when the finite said, I don't know. Why, imagine it! Suppose Mr. Smith should hear a couple of small bugs in his front yard discussing the question as to the existence of Smith, and suppose one little red bug swore on the honor of a bug that in his judgment no such man as Smith lived. What would you think of Mr. Smith if he fell into a rage and brought his heel down on this little atheist bug and said, I will teach you that Smith is a diabolical fact? And yet if there is an infinite God, there is infinitely a greater difference between God and a human being than between Shakespeare and the smallest bug that ever crawled. It cannot be. There is something wrong in this somewhere. 